Energy Shaper is a 3 mana 3 4 that transforms all spells in your hand into ones that cost 3 more, but they keep their original cost. So if you have a 6 cost spell in your hand, it gets turned into a 9 cost spell that costs 6. This used to transform into a spell that cost 2 more, but it was recently buffed to 3 more, which is actually very significant. This particular list I copied from Habugabu on Twitter because of a very interesting inclusion with Stoneborn General. A 10 mana 8 8 with Rush and a Death Rattle that summons another 8 8 with Rush. This card seems really out of place in a Casino Mage deck, but we play a bunch of 6 cost spells, and if you take a look at all the 9 cost spells Energy Shaper can transform them into, there's Frontlines, which fills the board with minions from each player's deck, and there's also From the Edda Side, which summons minions from your hand, they attack enemies, and then die. And Stoneborn General is a really good pull off both of these 9 mana spells that we're hitting somewhat reliably. It's weird, but it does work. Uh, I don't think I want to keep any of these. I mean, Reliquary Researcher is a pretty nuts card. Surely I can find a deck that plays this and look at some statistics. Oh, it is super not a mulligan keep. Okay. Fair enough. Although this list I'm looking at also says Burrow Buster is a better mulligan keep than Kobold Miner, which just seems straight up incorrect. So I don't know. Well, we've got the 6 mana plus Stoneborn general combo, so that's cool. Man, give me a freaking energy shaper. Give me a freaking energy shaper with this hand, dude. Oh my god, we're gaming. Triple Scourge. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good. Hmm. This Infinitize is really awkward. I guess, I mean, I can play it on turn 8. I guess I'll hold it. Chogol. Respect. I got a rush. Uh. This kind of sucked, actually. I was going to say this attack is good against Harmonic Pop, but not really, because they'll probably just be trading this into the 7-7. So I don't think attacking makes much sense. Uh, if they AoE me, though, they do take 6 damage, which is kind of sick. Immune and Summon. I feel like just trading this in here was better. I don't know, that whole turn for my opponent didn't seem great. Uh, If I go... I could go like Cryo, one mana treasure, hero power, infinitize, but... That's probably too many hoops to jump through just to infinitize. Okay... Boom. Lifesteal denied. Wow, they got kind of owned here. Turns out the world's most mediocre Scourge is still pretty good on turn 6.
You are dead on board. Okay. Only got to play one of my three scourges. Let's try to find the good three drop. I found two of the good three drop. I don't think I'm ever coining Energy Shaper, so I will simply Hero Power. Two sixes. I think I'm going to Hero Power this, and then I'll probably Energy Shaper next turn. Oh, shit. I do like Cold Case, but I'd probably rather it be a 7. I can try to reroll this and do another 3 with this Energy Shaper. I don't know. I think if this hits the 3-4, it's pretty good. This might actually live for Divine Toll, which would be sick. Probably a Trial by Fire. I guess I go... What? One, two, three, four, five? Well, we start with this. Frostbolt, AI, Fireball. I mean, whatever. I don't think my first attack here matters. Trial by Fire is a hell of a card. Face. Tomb Trader. Okay. Um, I think I dropped the front lines here. It could suck. But what if it doesn't suck? Wouldn't that be sick? I've got Yogg and Stoneborn General to help make it suck less. Oh, we sniped Marogar. That's an insane snipe. Cool, some garbage. Can use this pendant to find Ramoth, maybe. Although I don't know that I really want Ramoth casting in other front lines. That's a fine overdraw. Uh, I do have a fireball in hand, but that's not quite lethal. Oh, I have divine toll. Divine toll's a hell of a lot of damage. This is 10 if it all lands on my stuff. The only way to guarantee it all lands on my stuff is to play like aftershocks. So assume this does eight. I need six more damage from hand. It's just not gonna happen. 
But I will play Divine Toll, because it's sick. Oh god, this lived. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter, but I will trade into it. This probably should have just gone face since I have Fireball in hand. Okay. Uh, they can heal... Oh no, they go for this. Could this ever be good enough? I don't think I keep a Cryoprez, but maybe I do. I really just want to energy shape some sixes. Did I keep this or did I draw another one? I don't know. Arcane Defenders. Let's go for Tear Reality. That could be hype. Tear Reality next turn. Turn 4 is Cryoprez Infinitize, and then turn 5, maybe Cryoprez Energy Shaper. Mask of Cthulhu is a hell of a card to put in my Ramoth. I think I do want to go Cold Case into Mask. And then we can maybe play this on 6. Mask time. Oh, we full cleared. What a lovely spread. Also, I did pick up a Stoneborn General, so if this six gets turned into from the other side, that's pretty good. They're pumping hella plagues into my deck. Ramoth, lovely. I think I... Hmm. I mean, it's probably better to transform this, right? But it could also hit a spell that could be transformed, and then this could be in the Ramoth, but... I think maybe I just transform it. Assassinate. We did get from the other side. Momentum. Take four damage. Deal three, summon a five, five. Okay. What is the default of this card? Or... I guess Ramoth probably casts whichever version of Rhapsody I cast, right? Probably. Skeleton crew on the common treasure. That didn't seem like the right order. Maybe they had a plan, though, for a specific treasure. Reverb. Not seeing any targets for it. Oh, beautiful Finley hit.
Is this? This is enemy minion, so it's fine to play Assassinate into Ramoth. Give your hero plus five attack. If I put this into my Ramoth, it also casts momentum, so the Ramoth guarantees nine damage. Kind of sick. That's a full clear, but they don't have much left. Yeah, that helps quite a bit. I think I do want to play this. Maybe I throw in the blizzard just for the sake of the Ramoth next turn. I don't know. Seems like kind of a waste. But, I mean... I do want to hero power face, because I think my Ramoth is only guaranteed to deal 9. So I guess this is fine. Maybe I should have also played Assassinate here, just to make it, uh, make it even more likely that I could actually go face. But I'm dealing 5 AoE and getting an 8-8 rush, and kind of two 8-8 rushes. So I don't think it should be hard to send the 9 face. Pretty weak turn from the opponent here, but it would have been hard to do anything strong enough to live. Oh, they died before I got to attack, I think? Or maybe I got frozen? Oh, Mask of Cthune. I totally forgot about Mask of Cthune, actually. So yeah, they were mega dead here. Holy shit. Let's go, Ramoth. I'm just mulling for Energy Shaper. Hey, I got it. Now let's try to find some six cost spells. Hey, someone cares enough about Mech Mage to play it. Let's see if we can pick up an AoE here. Something like a Volcano Mancy. Cool. Next turn is just Volcanomancy Hero Power. Easy. Gorilla bot. Summoning ward. I mean, I guess there's not much point holding it, right? Two mana nourish is kind of sick, actually. It's basically just zero mana to ramp. And I do have a Crash of Thunder, which is really good here. Oh, 
Oh, that's a nature spell. Cool, that lets me play Cold Case here. And next turn I'm on 8 mana, so I can go double excavate maybe. Oh, that was probably discovered off Gorilla Bot or Amalgam. Free Skeleton. Not objection. But it is counterspell. Healing, please. Alright, I think it's going to be pretty hard to lose from this position. Oh, that does make sense. Oh, that card is actually so scary. I have no clue if I'm in a good spot or not. Can I actually canary that? Because it does say once per game on it. So it's just a six mana five five. But I don't know. Canary might be good against... A Void Lord, or who knows. It is the Warlock Hand. Try to mess up any cube shenanigans with this, I guess. Or what if I just play Stoneborn General and threaten to kill them? This is 50-50 to hit Doomguard, in which case they should be pretty scared of this. What is their hand? The two demons, Blood Reaver Gul'dan, Faceless Cube, Dark Pact. I think Stoneborn General is kind of good against that hand. Do they cube this? I mean, Yogg is insane against basically anything they do. If they don't do any cube stuff, which appears to be what's happening, then I'm just going to canary this. Oh, okay. Life Sentence. Totally normal card to discover off Infinitize there. So, if they go Doomguard, Cube, Faceless... I can steal one of the cubes, and they steal the other one, and they can... Maybe I just steal Void Lord here, and then it, like, blocks some Doom Guards. Yogg stays alive, maybe it can AoE some Doom Guards. Oh, excavate. I'll take it. So they have Dark Pact and Gul'dan. Dark Pact and Gul'dan. So I just Blizzard. So fucking bad. Oh, I should have got tendrils out of this, probably. Although, I don't know, it could have killed a cube, and that could have been scary. Observe, 
What if I draw another blizzard? Reverb on that cube is kind of sick. I think this is fine. They go Dan for three Doom Guards, but like, that's fine. Summoning Ward, Double Cross Visage. Yeah, I stole the Void Lord, so like, I think this Gul'dan just isn't that good. I think I was overrating it. Like, Triple Doom Guard is pretty strong here, but it's not. I'm not. I'm not gonna lose the game to this. They have four Doom Guards? Oh yeah, I guess the original one they killed. Fair enough. Nice. They were gonna get triple Doom Guarded after I traded off this cube. Nothing to keep there, I don't think. Alright, energy plus six. Love to see it. These are all pretty mediocre. Uh, I mean, synthesize Finley is kind of a combo. I might also just want some garbage to play, because I don't necessarily need to play Energy Shaper next turn. So next turn could be like Synthesize, one drop, Infinitize. And then like two drop, Infinitize, and then we can Energy Shaper on five, maybe. Uh, sure. That's a six. Love to see it. So many frost plagues. The most annoying plague. So many six cost spells. The best cost spells. I'm playing cold case. Boy, a frost plague. I guess this is a fine turn to get it out of the way, though. Oh no, it turned everything into a seven. Wait, is that right? Dude, my hand sucks. What if I just pyroblast them three turns in a row? Well, that was a pretty good blood in the water. Is that what it's called? Yeah, blood in the water. They do actually have an armor, Astalor, so Pyroblast isn't going to straight up be lethal. Maybe I get this five in, though. I do get the five in. Is it dumb to triple Pyroblast? It's probably way more responsible to play Convoke here. My hand's too full. Thank god the Convoke did something. Oh. 
really bad 7 mana card. But it did summon some tutus. Very annoying that they had that. Do we Convoke again? Hey, that's a good overdraw. Nice, a 2-4. So much armor. Okay. Two turns left. We got the good one. You know, with all this armor, that actually gives me a lot of breathing room to just play a bunch of pirate blasts in a row. It's Pyroblast time. I guess I can excavate while I'm at it. Why not? There's the armor guy. Heatwave is reasonable here. Sure, whatever. Uh, Light Show could be lethal. It was lethal. I'm kind of disappointed that I only needed two Pyroblasts. 